quickly. And they're off with Polixios, a little bit behind the others and jumping away for the My Pension Expert Arkel Challenge Trophy and Matata in the double green, just about in front over the first. With a way to the left, found a fist of the red cap. And Gaelic Warrior, pink jacket handy as they approach the second to the grey Il Ete Tom, a nose bounded authorised speed midfield. And down, authorised speed is a second fence faller. He's swiftly on his feet, and Dave Noonan is getting up as well. On to the further remainder go, led by Matata over Gaelic Warrior, found a 50, Il Ete Tom. JPR1 in the black and yellow about four lengths off the lead. Away to the left, having been restrained on jumping away. Quilixios is keen and is much closer to them. Jumping ahead of Master Chewy, who's in the maroon and white. And then Hunter's Yarn, the spotty cat for Daryl Jacob. And my mate Mozzie is last of the nine who remain. And they've all cleared out over the fourth. So turning to the rising ground, being led uh, by Matata, who takes them along around about 26, 27 miles an hour. Broadly similar pace at this point of the race to the Supreme. Gaelic Warrior tracks the leader on the incline towards the fourth, ahead of Founder 50. And then JPR1 in the black and yellow, racing just in advance of Polixios under Rachel Blackmore. Uh, Il Eto has got three behind as they turn down the hill. Master Chewy is one of them. My mate Mozzie in the light blue is another. And the other is Hunter's Yarn in the hands of Daryl Jacob. So they make the approach uh, to the fifth. Matata, over Gaelic Warrior, found a 50 with a red cap stalking the leading pair. Then JPR1, Calixios, the grey, Il Ete Tant, over Master Chewy, my mate Mozzie, and the patiently ridden Hunter's Yarn closing in on the water. Matata leading the Arkel field that is covered by about eight lengths, all pretty neat and pretty assured out over that top. Matata to Gaelic Warrior, approaching the first of a pair of open ditches. Found of 50, the red cap remains a handy third, and Matata gave it plenty of daylight. Il Ete Ton, the grey, wasn't particularly fluent there, and he had Hunter's Yarn jumping into his quarters. They've gone through halfway, and they're about to head across the top of the track. Matata, Gaelic Warrior, good jump from JPR1, the black and yellow, carried him up into third, just ahead of Founder 50. Polixios, the blue cap, patiently ridden in midfield, ahead of Il Ete Ton, then Master Chewy, my mate Mozzie, and Hunter's Yarn is last of the field as they go to the ditch at the top of the hill, four out in the arcle, Matata, Gaelic Warrior, a serious error there from Il Ete Ton, who's now only got two behind him as they prepare to come on down the hill, they've got three fences left to jump, and Matata has made every inch of the running so far. Gaelic Warrior Pink Jacket continues the stalking going strongly. Right at his quarters, found a 50. And then a two-length break on the descent to JPR1 to Master Chewy in a maroon jacket from Polixios, the blue cap, then Il Ete Ton, uh, my mate Mozzie. And last of all, but still just about in touch, is Hunter's Yarn pulled to the outer as Matata leads them over the third last. And it two lengths ahead. And now up into second, found a 50, beginning to bear down on the lead again. In Warrior, although relegated to third, is still waiting in the wings, it would seem. Town and sitting quietly as they begin the swing back towards home. They've got two left to jump in the My Pension Expert Arkle Challenge Trophy. And found a 50, the red cap has come cruising alongside Matata with Gaelic Warriors in the slipstream of the leading pair. Master Chewy Maroon Jacket in fourth has latched on. Here's the second last. Found a 50, jumps to the front. Gaelic Warrior on the left moves up to challenge Master Chewy of four and for JPR one. And Gaelic Warrior goes off at the last. Speed here. Came up over two legs clear. From Fang of 50, Il Ete Tor have gone into third. But Gaelic Warrior is four from clear. And after two seconds, it's going to be third time lucky at the first of all. Gaelic Warrior wins the arc of Mullins and Talion strike. Fang of 50 is in second, Il Ete Tor third. Matarza get no way forward, they had only made Hunter's Yarn. Gaelic Warriors' arc of success is the first winner of what could be a prodigious festival for Willie Mullins, but nice to get one on the board. Nice to get the, yes, after the first race, you know, I thought we had it one jumping the last mm. and then we just got outstayed, but he ran a cracker. And um, though delighted uh, because uh, in the parade ring, I thought he was going to get very upset. He was getting wound up as they went around. Paul got him out on the track and he settled down a good bit. And 
I think the application of a hood uh, just made him so much easier to ride. Paul couldn't get over. He said, just said he was a dream ride. And you schooled him in it and he jumped a bit yeah. straighter for it? He did. Paul just said to me, he was brilliant with the hood and he didn't jump right. So I, I don't know, I wasn't watching the TV. Did he jump right during the race? A little, but not, yeah. not markedly so. Yeah, but, but he settled lovely in behind the horses, rode like a normal horse. So yes. that, that's fantastic. You know? And great to see Gaelic Warrior being so normal. Tell me about the decision making process because uh, up until the not quite last minute, you were juggling with the Arkle, juggling with the Turners. I, what made you to make the decision? Uh, we were talking about going for the Arkle in Leperstown and we changed our mind at the last minute and left him in the uh, two and a half mile race. And then we just felt after what happened in the two and a half mile race, we'll just put the hood on him and we'll see what that. So that was good uh, when we schooled him in that at home. And then we thought. Uh, you know, Fasal Vega could go into the other race, and we, you know, we always thought he had a little speed, even though we used to run him over three miles. But that, that was because we had other horses for the two mile races. Uh, now I think he just found his calling, hasn't he? Yeah. So is the, I was going to ask you, is this a champion chaser? What could he be? He, he looks like a champion chaser. He could be a Ryanair horse, and I mean, he he has won a three miles as a novice, like Gallop and Deschamps did. Yeah. He, you know, he won the same race. He could, he could be anything, couldn't he? It must be very professionally satisfying to actually get the Cheltenham Festival win out of this horse. He's a horse that's got such huge talent. To see him put together, that must be very satisfying. It is, because we've been watching him at home all the time, and we thought you know, he was nearly a guaranteed Cheltenham winner the last two years, and it didn't work out. You know, so now he's done it on a big day in the Argo. Fantastic. And I hear that he's been essentially in boot camp for the past few weeks, hasn't he? To sort of you know make sure that he's he's ready and, and primed for this yes, festival. Yeah, yeah. But um, you know, yeah. Well, we, we I mean the whole place is just ready and primed. All the horses are running, even the horses at home. They're all running so well. Um, you know, so and yeah, he's he, he's really right. Yeah. And later on today, it is the moment for State Man to step forward and, and claim that trophy after a season that's gone like clockwork, I think. Everything has gone eerily well. That's you know the whole week. I think I've one horse lame, didn't travel. Joystick. I've one horse out today. Uh, gold dancer, you know. So, but everything else has just gone so well. So. I better go. Okay, we're more frightened. We're about. more frightened now, Willie. But many congratulations. Well thank, done. Thank, thank you very much. Well, the man who's just delivered Gaelic Warrior to victory in the Arkle is Paul Tannend. And Willie was just saying, I was saying to you, he ran like a normal horse. Did he ride like a normal horse? He did, actually. Yeah, he was very well behaved. Once he got out of the, the buzz inside here and down the chute, he got a bit anxious on the way down. But um, once we got cantering away, he, he, he behaved himself. And uh, yeah, he was, he was actually a pleasure to ride today. So. Um, <laughs> You kind of go out with plans and things, but you, you never know with him. Was that plan A that you just executed? I, I, I think so. Um, we had so many of them, um, it, it, we just weren't sure. It, yeah, look, it went, it went pretty smooth. Um, Sam was always going to go forward, probably, and if we could just get in a rhythm behind him, we were going to try and do that, and, and, and we did. And he jumped really well, and um, you know the ground is testing, so that brought in the stamina. Yes, and the, the presence of Sam and Matata was likely going to make your job easier, and so it proved. Yeah, um, once he behaved himself and we didn't get in a race with Matata early on um, and, and he did so yeah, the, the hood I think helped him and um, as, as we said, brilliant, like some training performance from Willie as anyone that doubted him would be a fool to bring him back from Dublin Racing Festival for a performance like that. Yeah, he was much more agitated, wasn't he, in the Dublin Racing Festival than him. I know what you mean, he was, every time I saw him going around he was getting a little bit worse, but it was nothing like Leverstone. No, he, he rode a different horse uh, today and um, yeah, he, he produced him on, on the day as he always does and, and I, the, the job is just steering him around. And when um, he worked in the hood a few days ago, the report was that he jumped straighter. Do you think the hood has actually helped him to jump straighter or is it the position that you were able to hold in the race? It, did, it definitely didn't, it didn't harm his, him anyway. Um, I just thought it pacified him a little bit better at home. But maybe he's just growing up and, and, you know, he jumped straight at home and he jumped straight today. So, um, you know, I didn't get, have to get in a row with him with the hood, so I think that helped. And he's clearly a horse of huge ability. He's done many different things, many different distances. Is he a champion chaser all along? Oh, yeah, I don't know what he could be. Um, he, he, look, he is the engine there and, um, you know, you can, you can curb the enthusiasm after that. And he is growing up and the most important thing is, is, is the, the engines under the bonnet and... Um, he is like to come here and and behave himself was a big yeah. a big day out yeah, yeah.
and so satisfying. I've spoken to Willie and Rich Ritchie about this. You, you know you've got this horse with a huge talent. You've brought him to a festival twice, he's finished second. You want him to be able to stretch his stuff on the biggest stage. So it must be very satisfying for you as well. Of course. Um, and, you know, he hadn't disgraced himself here. He'd just gotten beat and misbehaved a little bit. So um, I suppose everything stands to him. He's been here twice, you know, in the mornings. Rachel does a huge job with him. Uh, Rachel Robbins, she... I don't envy it every morning riding him out at home because when I do get up and my hand him back pretty quickly. <laughs> <laughs> but how about the horse you're very much looking forward to ride, your favourite state man? I mean, this is his moment to step forward and get his name on the Champion Hurdle Trophy, isn't it? Hopefully, yeah. Look, everything crossed. It's nice to have a winner on, on board now when we're going out on him and um, try and do the business. But everything has gone like clockwork for him all season, hasn't it? And the, his key asset, as well as being very good, is his straightforwardness. Exactly, exactly. He is very straightforward. Um, hopefully he will be again today. And It's no walk in the park now. He'll have to turn up and, and win as well. Yes. But, um, no, look, everything crossed with that, that he, can, he can run a solid race. Yeah. Very best of luck and congratulations Thank to him. Thank you. Watch live racing now on RacingTV.com.